Now, amid the prolonged political crisis and delayed election in the troubled horn of African nation, Somalia's president has suspended the country's prime minister. The announcement comes a day after the two men sparred over country's delayed elections, which have not been concluded despite getting underway in November. Now, President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed said that Prime Minister's administrative powers are being suspended amid the ongoing corruption probe. Charging the Prime Minister with interference in investigations, the President also accused the Prime Minister of looting public land, which was owned by Somali National Army. Even as the Somalian Prime Minister's office termed the move unconstitutional, Prime Minister Robel himself hit back at President Mohammed, accusing him of rigging the elections and trying to take over the Prime Minister by force. I want to share with the Somali people that the steps taken by the former President Mohammed Abdullahi Farmajo were a deliberate attempt at a coup against the government, constitution and rules of the country. The dramatic developments come after months of political tussle between the two leaders. The simmering tensions between the two escalated after President extended his own four-year term by two years, leading to widespread protests by the Prime Minister and the opposition in April this year. Now in September, Mohammed suspended Robles' power to hire and fire officials in a dispute over murder investigation that generated months of tensions.